Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a updated video about um, some installs that I did over the weekend. A lot of you have been asking me, okay, um, you know, do you have you installed the May 2019 update lately um, and, and on what machines? So the uh, process of the um, upgrading to the Windows 10 uh, May 2019 update or version 1903 I have several machines here, including some that are 10 years old. And I've decided this weekend that the two last computers that I had that were on Windows 7, I would upgrade them to Windows 10. And of course, that meant that um, I wanted to, you know, remove and make sure that everything was all right. I didn't have any more con constraints because um, a lot of the no, so first things first, these two machines were originally upgraded to Windows 10 on uh, the original version in 2015. And what happened is that on one of them, the HP machine, the uh, HDMI out of the graphics adapter was not working at the time. And on my 10 year old laptop, the computer was kind of running almost always 100% CPU. So that meant that, you know, I just couldn't leave it running like that it didn't go well so I actually rolled back to Windows 7 and left them on Windows 7 for the rest of the time because it was okay now with Windows 7 uh, support ending in six months from now I thought okay should I you know experiment in reinstalling Windows 10 but using the image of the May 2019 update and see how it goes so that's what I did Plus, I've upgraded a third machine that was still on the October 29, 2018 update. And so three installs this weekend. The upgrade from the October 2018 to the May 2019, that's on a Dell, an old Dell computer, went well. It was very long, a very, very long time of install, but it eventually got through and it actually worked very well. The upgrade process, no glitches, no problems. As for the two Windows 7 machines, I opted for a clean install. I didn't want to try or do anything that would uh, mean an upgrade. So I um, actually uh, did a clean install by creating a, a bootable USB thumb drive with a tool called Rufus that I'll be talking today a little more. And clean installed on both machines. So the first things that happened is that on my Toshiba, which is a 10 year old laptop, it worked perfectly. And this time around on the May 2019 update, it doesn't kind of, um, you know, go 100% like it did before. It was almost unusable on the original 2015 Windows 10 because of that. And it always ran really hot. Well, now it actually is going very well. And this is nice because it actually is showing me that the um, upgrade process um, is, is better. First of all, uh, it's kind of better. It was kind of fast, but also that the Windows 10 has evolved over time. And the May 2019 update is very, very good, uh, even on that very old laptop. On the HP desktop, uh, same thing, went really, really well. And I really, really had a great install uh, phase again. So this was nice because, you know, I, I was actually worried that maybe the uh, HDMI out glitch was still there. It's not. It works perfectly. So um, both machines are running well. They're running um, at, at, at nice speeds, even though they are older machines, including the Dell. So, um, you know, in all in all, um, including a um, Windows Insider machine that is on the slow ring, which means it's still on the May 2019 update. I now have a total of uh, five machines that is running the May 2019 update. And all of them have upgraded and work perfectly well. No glitches, no problems right now. And um, of course, I still have uh, one machine that's on the 20H1 um, insider builds that is of course working well on what is going to be the next build for next year. But um, I, I wanted to just update and, and let you know that 
you know, with the installs that I've seen and how well it went, I think the May 2019 update is pretty, pretty good. And the um, fact that older machines upgrade really well is nice also. You know, it means you can actually keep using some older machines easily with uh, the new builds. There's also a lot of new windows that show you privacy settings. And actually, I um, one of the machines that I have, I want to, uh, I installed the wrong version. I didn't, I didn't remember, but the uh, Toshiba, the ten-year-old Toshiba, uh, is not activating because it's telling me that um, the act, the Windows 10 was on it. It was a pro version, not a home version, and I installed the home version. So I'll do, I'll redo a, a clean install on it, and take some screenshots of the install process as we go along, and explain them a little bit. So if anybody does a clean install and tries to understand a little more about what is um, you know what are these windows all about and and what should I answer you know when I'm at that window I will um, of course have the the screenshots and um, will post the video so there probably will be several videos today as I installed it I will have of course all the screenshots taken that I'll actually post separate videos explaining all of them of course, there's going to be uh, other videos during the day today of um, the Windows operating system. And uh, as we move along, uh, July 1st already, so month of July, more than half of the year is gone away already. And of course, we're continuing. And uh, yeah, this is the month where uh, in at the end of the month, the 29th, uh, Windows 10 will have uh, four years. It will be the fourth anniversary of Windows 10 already. And I still remember doing videos on the channel here. And waiting for that to arrive on the 29th uh, at that time. Uh, kind of interesting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.